to the story of Jane Eddie Tumwine. The late Jane Eddie Tumwine, who over his more than 40 year career, Jane Eddie Tumwine was known as the National Resistance Army War Hero. He served as the Army Commander, one of the Army Representatives to Parliament, Chairman of the UPDF General Court Marshal, and Minister in President Museveni's government. Little has been written about General Tumwine's childhood and how he fell in love with his first and perhaps the most cherished career, fine heart, early childhood and cheating death. Born in Bulunga in Imbara district on April 12, 1954, Eddie Tumwine went to Bulunga Primary School, Mbara High School and St. Henry's College Tovu. In his brief message announcing General Tumwine's death on Thursday morning, August 20, 2022, President Museveni confirmed that he had taught him at Burunga Primary School in 1967. As many mourn his passing, it's nothing short of a miracle that he had lived the age of 68. In childhood, Tumwine cheated death four times. He had three snake bites that near took his life. In 1963, Tumwine some of his family members survived a lighting strike on their house. His elder brother died in the fateful strike, while his young brother died months later. Tumwine survived with severe burns on the stomach, which were treated at Mwende Hospital. The other time Tumwine cheated death was during the Bush War, following the November attack at Bukomero. General Tumwine has been using November 1st each year to launch his songs and painting in remembrance of the day he nearly died. Interest in fine art and times at Makerere. Tumwine previously shared that his interest in fine art was accidental, so to say. That he joined the fine art class because of the then famous guitarist Rock Luganzi, who had been hired by Mbara High School to teach art. The younger Tumwine was instead interested in playing Luganzi's guitar. I got interested in fine art not because of anything else, but to enjoy Luganzi's guitar in the art room. By the end of senior one, he was one who advised me that when you reach senior four, do art as your fourth principal, shared Tumwine before he fell sick. Tumwine would have joined entire school for his A-level but in did not teach fine art, so he joined St. Henry's Chitovu, where he was inspired by Professor Francis Xavier Musango Guantamu. I had wanted to be a lawyer like my cousin John Wycliffe, Kazora, and Grace Iwingira, but Francis Musango Guantamu told us that when you are an artist, you don't have to look for a job, said Tumwine. In 1974, Tumwine was admitted Makere. In 1974, Tumwine was admitted to the Makere Art School for a degree in fine art and a co-current diploma in education. Tumwine, the campus photographer. I am the one who started this giving of photographs immediately after the event and we started with the boxing event in the main hall. Then after that, we did sports at a football field, narrated Tumwine. Each time there was a major event at parliament or at the army headquarters, General Tumwine would be seen seemingly competing with journalists true to his nickname, campus photographer at Mackay University. In November 2021, General Tumwine launched his book titled Liberated My Art Life, in which he partly documented his life as an arts student at Mackay University. During my youth, in spite of the challenges of bad regime as a youth, my art life at Makere was very exciting, mainly not because of anything else. I was liberated to think freely. That is why I am calling my book Liberated, he revealed. Liberation of the mind was very important, said Tumwini. For art, you are exposed to blow your mind free and create the limit outlook to things at a more objective way then you are taught how to capture moments with your pen your pencil he said 
It is from studying fine art that too many would pick an interest in freedom and liberation. There is nothing liberating as you are having freedom and then and a means to create what is not there. And that is why I will never follow who designed a tie. Because really, what is that purpose of a tie? A rope in someone's neck? But people just follow because one person designed it. Jokes to Mwine, who was famous for his round neck shirts. Jokes to Mwine, who was famous for his round neck shirts. He was a member of Mumba Hall while at Makere later served as its patron. General Tumwine remained indebted to the Makere. My years at Makere was very important. They were fundamental in transforming the rest of my life. My thinking, my philosophy, my happiness, and my joy, my everything, he said. When Uganda hosted the OAU meeting in Kampala, General Tumwine was the Secretary General of the Fine Art Students Association. He, together with other students, were tasked to draw a massive portrait of the then President Idi Amin. The portrait, measuring 16 meters by 10, was to be displayed at the stadium. While the lecturers feared taking on the task, they tasked General Tumwine and three others to draw the portrait, a task they accomplished. The beauty of it was, we were paid good money, we were paid 1.6 million shins. It was the first time I opened a bank account. I said bye bye to poverty, he wrote. No wonder, Tumwine is said to have designed some of the camouflage uniforms for the army. Tumwine at Makere during the army regime. In 1976, Tumwine would participate in the historical strike following the killing of a student. Paul Serwanga. He was brutally murdered by the suspect Idi Amin State Research Bureau or parties. The then Guild President Olala Otuno organized a protest march in Kampala. General Tumwine played a crucial role in that protest. He and others printed the play cards for the protest. Tumwine joined a protest called by Lumumba Hall Chairperson Kagata Namiti for a march to the city square up to Chiburi where Paul Suranga was buried. That day turned out to be the infamous Black Tuesday in Macau University's history. Tumwine narrowly escaped arrest by hiding in the wardrobe as soldiers broke into halls of residences targeting students that had participated in the strike. He joined the likes of Dr. Chiza Besije, Henry Tumukunde and David Nyefunza aka David Sejusa. Shortly after the official opening of Lumumba Hall in 1971, the Uganda Army soldier raided Mary Stewart or Boxy, the female hall of residence next to Lumumba. Students of Lumumba engaged the soldiers in a fight during which one of the male students named Gongom died. From this point on, a Lumumba box or Lumumba box solidarity was born. A monument was erected. In his honor, the Gongo monument is addressed as His Majesty, Highness, and dressed in a graduation ground. This attire inspires students to read and work hard, but it is also a symbol of unity. During the invasion, the soldiers destroyed Gongo. We discovered that Gongo had been destroyed, and this time we made a big sculpture together with Chibira, who was good in metal welding. We said, let's give Gongom a real height, give him a long penis, to show that he is in charge of this place, narrated to Mwine. Adding that, after some time, we said Gongom can't be alone. Then we went and sculpted Gongomez. In 1978, Eri Tumwine abandoned his teaching job to join the Fronasa forces led by UNM-70. When I joined the armed forces, I did everything from cooking to carrying luggage because the president had taught me in P7 and when I heard that he was the one leading the group and we were tired of Idi Amin, I joined him, he said. UNM-70 went to the bush to form the National Resistance Army NRA 
Tomwini went with him. He reported to have fired the first shot in a world triangle war. He has served as the Army Commander, Minister of State for Defense, Minister of Security, Director General of External Security Organization ESO, and Army MP, among others. Oh, oh, oh.